praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I celebrate God for you all in Jesus' mighty name. Hi, my name is Samuel E. Molombe and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here, I bring you the word of God and I pray for you every day, believing God for transformation, deliverance and breakthroughs. Please feel free to join our Christian community by subscribing today. If also you need prayers, you need counseling, I am here to pray and counsel you as the Lord lays um, and the Lord gives us grace. Welcome. I celebrate God for all our viewers, all um, subscribers and members of our platform. In Jesus' mighty name. I have a word from the Lord for you and please I want you to listen very carefully. This might be your word. This might just be the word that you've been waiting for. The Lord says someone has vowed that never again. God says, someone vowed that never again. This is um, um, kind of like a two-sided prophetic word. And please listen carefully to know if God is speaking to you or this word concerns you. There is a case that I see in the realms of the Spirit. There is someone that have vowed in their hearts that never again will they talk with you, will they talk to you. Never again will they relate with you because of what they have heard about you. They are a group of people that come into someone's life with good intentions until they met the, or the people who were already in the lives of these particular persons. Now, I want you to understand the story that is written in the scriptures about blind Bartimaeus. Now, there was a guy called Blind Bartimaeus. He was blind, of course, as his name suggests. And he wanted a miracle from Jesus. Jesus was entering the city. A flood, a pool of people followed Jesus who did not need a miracle. And but they did not need any other person to get a miracle. So when Bartimaeus began to shout, they said to him, be quiet. Be quiet. Now, there is always a group of people that are around your life who can't help you and don't want you to be helped. There is always a group of people around your circle who don't have what you, what you, what you need for the next level and they don't want you to ever have it. So what they do is they begin to badmouth you when people, that, people come around you that can help you. I remember a man of God shared a very pathetic story. True life story. A rich man around his community saw a poor pastor. The pastor was financially struggling. So this rich man decided to help him. But he went and spoke to the pastor, his own pastor. So the rich man has his own pastor and sees a random pastor. And the pastor is really struggling, doing the work of God and is a genuine man. So the rich man tells his pastor that there is a pastor across the street that I want to help. I think he needs help. The pastor says, go ahead. If the Lord lives in your heart, go ahead to help him. That night, the rich man slept and had a vision that this pastor he wants to help was chasing him with a weapon in his dream. He was running for his life and begging the man was coming with a machete or an axe to kill him. And he woke up and thought to himself, this is somebody I'm trying to help. And called his pastor and said, you don't know, I'm not going to help that man again. He says, why? He says, this is what happened. I had a dream and the guy was following me with a, with a weapon to kill me. The pastor laughed and told him that, please, still help him. These are powers that don't want him to excel. These are powers that don't want him to thrive. These are powers that have kept him in poverty. It means that these powers have scared his helpers. I'm speaking now and I have holy anger in my heart. I want to pray in the name of Jesus any force of darkness. Every force of darkness, whether human beings or spirit, whether demons or agents, whatever shape they come to destroy your relationships and to destroy your life and to make sure that nobody reaches out to help you, may the Lord begin to fight them himself this season in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who have vowed that never again because they have heard negative things about you, as you say amen to this prayer and you open your spirit and connect, connect to this prophetic word, 
they will change their minds. I want you to put in the comment section if you feel like this prophetic word is for you and type and say, they will change their minds. If the Lord lays in your heart to plant the seed towards this word to make sure that anyone who have thought and said never again, you know, even spouses, somebody might want to marry you until they speak to your friends and they say never again. Whoever have given an ultimatum and says never again, God will cause them to change their minds. If the Lord lays in your heart to sow a seed confirming, connected to this prophetic word, you go ahead and do it. The Lord lays in your heart to, you know, type down and says, hey, they will change their mind. You go ahead and do it. I'm believing God that something will change in your life. The Lord bless you today in Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? I love you. Shalom.